these five evil human beings beat up an Uber driver in New York a month ago. He's still in a coma. Uh, we don't know whether he will recover. I'm just trying to show you a better image of these faces. This guy here, this dude, this girl, this girl over here. Let me play you the video. Please um, cooperate with the police if you have any idea about their whereabouts. Uber driver clings to life at the hospital after he endured a severe beating in Manhattan. Police say five passengers assaulted him on the Upper East Side earlier this month. And as Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco tells us, investigators hope newly released security camera images will help police track down the attackers. Surveillance video just released by the NYPD shows three men police are now looking for in the brutal assault on a 54-year-old Uber driver. One suspect seems to be holding back another as he goes after the driver, leaving him unconscious. They then flee the scene. This vicious attack happened on the corner of 62nd and 2nd Avenue on the east side just before 4.30 in the morning on Wednesday, February 5th. It was kept very confidential within the police department. It's been a month. There's no one arrested. Uh, and it's totally unfair to other drivers that could basically face the same consequences by the same people. Police are now looking for this group of five, two women and three men. The attack started with an argument between the Uber driver and the group of passengers that escalated outside the car. Then police say one man punches the driver in the head, knocking him to the ground. The driver hit his head on the pavement, causing severe injury. Fernando Mateo, the president of the New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers, says not only were they not notified about this assault, their jobs are getting more dangerous and drivers are scared. He survived by a miracle of God. Uh, when something like this happens, it shows that our city is really going down the drain. The 54-year-old Uber driver was taken to New York Presbyterian and has remained in a medically induced coma for weeks. Mateo says he is an immigrant who was working overnight hours to support his family, and his condition remains critical. I'm telling drivers, be careful. You know, you're out there all by yourself. You're risking your life with every person that gets into your car, and no one is watching out for you, so you must watch out for yourself. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. So please, if you have any, I blew up the uh, pictures of their faces so we get a, a better idea. This guy, this guy, and then this guy over here. If you have any idea, um, you know them, just turn these people in. This guy has been a, in a coma for weeks. We don't know whether he's going to pull through. I apologize for those little text messages flashing in during the video, but I think you get a good idea, right? You look at this girl, she's not, uh, she really stands out unless she's changed her color. This girl really stands out. Um, they're all pretty well identifiable on these pictures. I just ran you the video. Absolute cowards, absolute pigs, and please help bring justice and help this man out find these five individuals. Thank you.